Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. In this vlog, I'm going to be showing you my Christmas decorations, some of the chores that I do for like once a month chores around my house, and I'm also gonna share a recipe with you um, for making fried rice. It's really yummy. So thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's the day after Thanksgiving and I am starting to decorate my house for Christmas. Uh, it's Friday, so John is gonna do the outside stuff and put up our two Christmas trees this weekend. He puts them up, I decorate them. So I'm still kind of in the middle of things. With Christmas I have more stuff so I actually like I have a bunch of Christmas coffee mugs so I take the other coffee mugs and put them in the box in the garage that the Christmas ones were stored in and kind of trade them out. So certain things I do that. Other stuff I try to just push my stuff to the side if it looks okay. Oh, let me know what you think. Okay so here's the mantle and these two things here, three things, there's one tucked back behind there, are normally on my mantle. I moved them to the side and then put these two little metal boxes. I put a candle in and that snowflake reflects on the wall behind it. I love that. Um, the little uh, stocking holders, our little reindeer thing here, and then we have this little Santa from Germany that smokes a pipe. He put in incense in there. And um, this thing, we, I think I'm gonna move it because it looks really awkward. This is the, the chime for our doorbell. We have a video doorbell by Ring. And so I need to move that because it just looks like an obstruction. Normally I have stuff in front of it. Um, and then I've got these three little mini Christmas stockings that I'm gonna put on the wall vertically for the babies, the fur babies. And then I've um, got a couple little things here. That's always there. Um, a couple little things here. We will be taking, this is a massage chair. It's so nice, I'm telling you. John and I got it for ourselves for Christmas years ago. This thing, I mean, probably 12 years or more ago. We just got it refinished or refinished, recovered uh, because the, the outside was looking a little nasty on it. But it is the weirdest looking chair, but it is so comfy. But we will be moving that into the guest room, into a corner in the guest room, and that's where we put our Christmas tree, our main Christmas tree. And then we have this pencil Christmas tree that will go right here, and that will have all of my, that's my teacher tree, so I'll have all my ornaments from my past students. And then in here, oh, Chad's sitting on stuff. Um, so in here, this is, going to be the skirt that goes around the, the teacher tree and then we have another skirt that goes around the other tree so um, this is it just you know I put out this little thing in the center and some placemats and Chad seems to like being part of the decorations in the kitchen this is still a mess i don't know if, um my friend vicky gave this to me last year and i got to figure out where i'm going to put that i put out my little snowman uh spoon rest i okay so this is my kitchen tree and i bought these cute little ornaments they're all kitchen related hot mitts and cutting board and baking sheets and all that and so I let and it says kiss the cook at the top but I went to plug it in and the light the string of lights was burned out so I have to get another string of lights to wrap on there before I can decorate that and then I have these things which I probably will not keep out for display I'll just use them for serving things so yeah and then I've got my farmhouse Christmas cookbook over here, um, we've got our little candle with our, it's got like a Mickey Mouse lamp thing that sets on top. And I'm gonna show you something having to do with candles. This thing is funny. Oops, I've got a little clip here. Um, a few years ago, my um, brother-in-law and sister-in-law, so John's brother and his wife, got us this thing. Um, <laughs> as a gift, I say quote unquote gift because they're the kind of people that 
like they'll get you something that they know is just god awful ugly and then they'll pretend like they're serious and <laughs> giving it to you so anyway it's just their personality but we thought it was funny they love dogs they love our dog and so you know i just figured you know we still have to put it out it's just funny let me show you this thing though my mom got me this as one of my birthday presents this is a rechargeable or yeah rechargeable candle lighter and it is the coolest thing so it's not one of those things that you fill with fluid or that is filled with fluid and then it runs out of fluid and you have to throw it out um, you actually put this forward and then you press this shows that it's fully charged and then you press on this and watch so that you see that so you use that to light the candle you just hold it right on the wick and it lights it it's so cool because it doesn't require any fluid and it's got a charger where you can recharge this thing and it just kind of works forever it even came with a two-year extended warranty so i don't know what the original warranty was but two so it's it's gonna last us a while until it breaks and then on this table our kitchen table we've got our little placemats here and then this metal tree and some candles these look really pretty when the, the candles are lit because you can see the light coming through these snowflakes super pretty i have this little thing this i actually i made this for my mom it was years ago when i was way 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 into cross stitch and I made this for my mom and every year at Christmas she would hang this on the door, but she was downsizing when she moved out of this house and this ended up in the garage sale pile and I saw it and I was like, I did not have my feelings hurt at all. I mean, I know what it's like to have stuff and you shouldn't have to hang on to something just because a family member gave it to you. But I loved it when I gave it to her. I always wished I had one and I never made one for myself. And so actually, um, I said to her, okay, because I did buy stuff from her garage sale items, but I said, I made this, so I get this one for free. So it is back hanging on the same door that my mother has hung it on for 20 years or more, and, um, and I love it. I just love it. And then in our guest bathroom, I like it. It does not look so pretty. So I have this little tree. My mother made that tree for me eons ago, probably more than 20 years ago and so I just like to have it in here in the bathroom and then um, these Christmas towels so and then these little things that say Merry Christmas and that is it for now I still have some other stuff to put out I've got a Christmas tree to decorate and um, oh I, there were two things I forgot um, here I had for the fall I had a little thing on, on there that said welcome and so I put up this little Christmas thing and then in the kitchen I've got this deal that's a, a Christmas card holder I mean people don't hardly send Christmas cards anymore I think last year I might have had five on that's there, it but. for now I still have my fall wreaths on the front door I thought I would wait until John starts putting up the Christmas decorations outside before I switched those out. Oh, you know what's another thing? Um, John's dad usually gets us a fresh wreath for Christmas. And what I did last year, because it was our first Christmas in this house since we bought it, we have double front doors and I only have one Christmas wreath. So what I did last year is I put the Christmas wreath that I made on one side and the fresh Christmas wreath on the other side, and then I put a similar bow. So the one that I made has this bow on it. I put a similar bow on the fresh one, so when you look at it from the street, it looks like, you know, I've got matching wreaths, sort of. Um, and up close, you can see that the one is a, is a fresh wreath. So if John's dad, he's been doing that for, gosh, four or five years now, five? or more. So if he sends us, if he has another one sent to us, I think he gets them from, is it Eddie Bauer or what's that other company? It's not Eddie Bauer. It's kind of like that. Land's End. I think it might be from Land's End. But anyway, they, they send out fresh Christmas wreaths. So um, anyway, if he sends that to us, that's what I'm going to put out on the door. If he does not, then um, I'm going to have to make another wreath because I've got a double door and now I need two wreaths all the time. Let me show you how this works. So you slide this thing forward 
and then you push down right behind that thing that you just slid forward you push that down and you hold it right on and see there wait almost Pretty cool, huh? Love I will link it in the space free in the space below. I believe it's spelled that looks like an M, but I think when I went on to do the warranty thing, it, it's actually an R, R O N X S, I think. But I'll put it in the space below with a link to where you can get one of these. So another thing that uh, that I'm doing today is my monthly chores. Um, it is only the 27th but I usually start a couple days early so I can get everything done by the first of the month. And these are chores that I do like just on a monthly basis. They're mostly home maintenance kind of things, not like having to clean off my countertops or vacuum or something like that. So um, let me show you what I'm working so on. In my washing machine, what I just finished doing was a tub clean. And so I have a setting on my front loader that says tub clean and all you do is just you know turn it on that setting and then turn it on you don't want to do clothes at the same time because it gets really hot unless you're really trying to shrink something so um, but your washing machine needs to be cleaned believe it or not um, you may have noticed that you get kind of gunky stuff in your washing machine and it's not just for front loaders top loaders are the same especially around the place where you put the fabric softener it can get real gooey around there but it also helps to take care of hard water deposits and things that build up in your washing machine and if you have a front loader you've got this rubber gasket thing and if you not not just this part you don't have this it's I mean this when you do a tub clean it will take care of it any um, stuff that kind of gets built up here but in this little behind here down in there oh my gosh that can get so gross like with hair and lint and and you know it just gets kind of gooey and gross and it, so if yours is like that get some tweezers and start pulling out whatever you can and then um, you won't be able to get all of it out. It'll still look gross. And so um, then put a little bleach in there or even uh, vinegar, but mine was bad. So I um, put put uh, bleach in and then let it sit for 10 minutes and then run the tub clean cycle. If you do that for a few months in a row, this will get completely clean and then you won't have to do that anymore. All you do is just put a little vinegar. You don't have to put vinegar in to run a tub clean, but I put in about a cup of vinegar and then turn it on and um, and it will keep your washing machine really clean and also it'll keep it from getting build up in their hard water deposits that might shorten the life of your washing machine. Another thing I'm doing right now is doing a clean a cleaning cycle on my dishwasher and so it's going right now. You can um, you can do this when you have dishes in there, but it's really hot. You can see all the steam coming out. So don't put anything in there that's like a fragile plastic that's gonna warp. But mine has an antibacterial setting, um, which I put it on and then, okay, it's gonna start beeping at me. Um, and so the antibacterial cycle is a good thing to just, you know, run. Um, or if yours doesn't have that, then just the hottest, hottest cycle. Um, I also use these tablets. Like and you take one of these and just toss it in there. And you can use this when you have dishes in there at the same time. And it does the same thing. It just cleans out any, you know, hard water buildup and keeps your dishwasher running nicely. You just have to do that once a month. The other thing I do is I clean my my garbage disposal and so I use this product by Glisten. Um, it is a, it's called Disposer Care Foaming Cleaner and what you do is you run your garbage disposal um, with hot water going in it just to make sure it's completely cleaned out and then this is in these are in paper packets and what you do is you run the sink just run the water to a trickle and then turn your garbage disposal on and stick the whole paper packet in there. Make sure if you have a double sink that you've blocked off the other side, the drain stopper, and because it'll foam and come out the other side, you don't want that. 
So it will start foaming and it will come up out of the garbage disposal. Just keep letting it go. Make sure the water is just at a trickle because if you turn it on higher, it won't foam as much. And then um, pretty soon all the foam will get sucked back down into the disposer. And then um, it'll start, you know, you see the foam in there swirling around. And next thing you know, you hear a big swoosh sound and it's done. So then just run the water on high and get all of that cleaned out. And then it comes the really disgusting part. And that is you take a sponge and I recommend using a sponge that you're getting ready to throw away. And you just make sure your dis your disposer is turned off and you stick the sponge down in there and you, you clean, you rub it against the underside of this rubber collar. And if you've never done this before, um, it, it is gross. So if you have a, a weak stomach, get ready. Um, but anyway, so you kind of just underneath that collar. If you can remove the collar like mine, I can remove it, then it's easier to clean. But if you can't, then that's fine. Just put the, um, the sponge under there all the way around it. And it, if your garbage disposal is stinky, that is more than likely the reason why, because of the grossness that has built up underneath there. And if you clean it out once a month, then you're not gonna have to worry about that. I also, once a month, I clean out my the cat litter boxes that we have, and I dump the litter out completely, and then I use, you can use bleach or vinegar, or I use a product um, from Young Living that's their thieves cleaner, and I clean out the box completely because part of what makes a litter box smell so bad is what gets that kind of goes into the plastic of the box and so if you can clean that out on a regular basis then it won't smell so bad you can see right here i have a pop-up reminder it it is a reoccurring reminder um, on the first of every month and i keep a list of all the things that i do at the beginning of the month so like so i've taking care of the washer and the grocery list. Um, I need to give Monica her heartworm pill, but I'll wait until we get to December 1st. I do a computer backup, um, wash out the pet bowls. I did the dishwasher and the disposer. Um, and then, um, so I, I just have different things on here that I do. I did. The wreath from my father-in-law arrived today. So, uh, so pretty, and it, it came from L.L. Bean. I was I was wrong on both of my other guesses, but L.L. Bean puts out fresh, like fresh little trees, and you can get ta like tabletop trees, and then they do these wreaths, and they're just lovely. So I'm supposed to. I didn't remember to do this last year. I started losing needles right away, but you spray it. Just mist it with water on the front and on the back every couple of days. So what I'm going to do over here because <laughs> this looks very different is I'm actually gonna go to Hobby Lobby and look for um, just a plain wreath that is a similar color and then put a few little things on it, some berries and stuff, not to try to make it look exactly like that, but similar, um, and then I'll put that one on this side and so they'll sort of match, but not really. I love this thing. Um, this is my advent calendar. And part of the reason why I love it is that I actually made that years ago when I was in my 20s and there was a period of time where every time a friend of mine got married this is what I would get them for a wedding gift is I would make them an advent calendar and I have several friends who tell me that they still that their kids loved it and now their kids are grown and and they lo still love getting it out every year for their grandchildren so so anyway, um, you know, the first day of December starts with the star and then each day something comes out of the pocket and goes and gets stuck onto these Velcro pieces. But um, yeah, I mean, I took a lot of time to make, make all of these little things, but it has cute, just cute little stuffed, um, wintry themed kinds of things. Um, now I can't get that in there looking through my camera. Um, anyway, yeah, I love this. I love getting this. Okay, this out. is one of my new favorite things to fix for dinner. This is uh, fried rice. has carrots, peas, garlic. I put scallions in. You can use onions, green onions, whatever. There's really a lot of options. Uh, two eggs that are scrambled split between the entire recipe. 
and there's oyster sauce, but you don't have to use oyster sauce. It's, what I use is oyster sauce and soy sauce or tamari sauce, but you can skip the oyster sauce if you don't have that. And uh, I think that's it with the rice, of course. And then we're having some little vegan Asian dumplings on the side.